So for this section we're going to be going over and modeling the trigger. So it's just very simple, just creating a uh, box and you can see that I already have the options to set up to where it's got some splits going down the middle and a split down the side for that. Then I'm just taking that box and repositioning it and then I took uh, the verts, put it at the top, the bottom, and then try to get it kind of centered up with the middle. And then I kind of just wanted to check this uh, against the model, what I've already modeled for that part within there. And then now I'm taking, um, you know, some edge loops there and putting it in the center of these kind of shapes that are going to be hollowed out. And then once I have that, then it's just real simple to take the verts and kind of push those back in space a little bit and get that kind of set up for that shape. And then I just use the uh, multi-cut tool, hold down control, and you can slide the edge in there to get the thickness of uh, this part right in through here. And so everything's kind of working for that. Um, I did find out a little later, I don't think I, I should have uh, froze the transformations on this, so when I go to do a mirror on this, uh, the uh, mirror wasn't set up quite right. And so um, I actually went through on this section was using uh, the mirror tool, checked it out, and then looked like everything was good, um, but then later on caused a little problem just because I wasn't uh, completely centered on that. So then I also was using, um, you know, uh, the extrude function. I extruded that in, had to delete those back faces out, and then I had to do a little bit of work to uh, add some geometry in there and then snap up the verts on the back so everything was good there. Here I'm using the uh, pin to polygon tool and just working around. You can see there's an arrow kind of direction for that. And you just kind of follow the direction of the arrow to keep making more geometry. Um, yeah, again, at some point, here's where I mirrored and, uh, the, uh, somehow I moved the object just a little bit. So I repositioned that and made sure the mirror was going to work correctly for that. This time I used the uh, mesh close uh, fill holes and that just filled in that geometry and then I was able to uh, you know, split down and through here, split in these areas, and then just taking the verge and kind of snapping everything up. So once I got the base shape for that done, then I used a uh, technique, um, and I'm going to uh, do a supplemental video on this to kind of explain this a little bit more in depth. But basically what it does, it's uh, mine's got some selection constraints, and it lets you uh, select all hard edges, and I was able to select all the hard edges and do a bevel on those hard edges. And then uh, there was some cleanup work that had to be done, so I just keep testing the uh, smooth mesh preview on that, and uh, yeah, just going through there and taking a look at all the uh, support edges that uh, were created on there. I actually did on the bevel um, segments, uh, I believe that was like two two segments, so it uh, puts a split down the, the center as well. And you can see like some of the geometry that it creates in these corners and stuff. Like I said, I was just uh, redirecting some of the edge flow for some of that and then uh, making sure that that all kind of worked correctly. So I'm just turning all those into quads at that point, basically. Like that, stretching the edges across there like this. And continually just checking the shape on that and so it looks like um, everything's uh, good to go just have to uh, redirect some of the edge flow on here actually turn those into quads as well and I'm done with the shape um, just kind of finessing some of that a little bit and then want to check that against uh, the bigger shape for the uh, gun where this thing kind of sits gave this a name for the trigger uh, now a little bit later after the video is done I actually fixed up the where this sits within the trigger and made that sit within there a little better